public spaces in Amsterdam is totally different of the public spaces in Sao Paulo, in many aspects. How different countries can learn from each other just by observing and understanding how their public space works. My name is Menno Houtstra. I'm from Amsterdam. I was born in Amsterdam. Traveling a lot in my life. Uh, until five years ago, I came back to Amsterdam and I built a gas canteen. Uh, I knew it already when I was younger that I was living a life was not satisfactory. But now by doing it in practice and living the, the life that I live here in, in, in the Casco team since five years, I noticed uh, I can be myself more, much more. And I'm more on my place and I cannot imagine to go back to, to another life. This used to be grass. Yes, and now it's earth. And now it's uh, turning into earth. Yeah. Because of the plastic. So you can see uh, after a few months, there is no uh, grass anymore, only these uh, plants. Uh -huh. Because uh, they have very strong roots. The Dutch, they historically always lack space because the sea is trying to gain yes. on our territory. So we have to protect it with dikes. We have to try to make new lands. And that's why the public space uh, has been um, very carefully planned, always. I think we lack at the moment uh, meeting places in the public space. And we have the parks, but less and less activities are allowed because it's getting more and more busy and commercialized. So there is less and less free space uh, where people can, can do uh, what they like. Social media has taken over a certain need for uh, public space because you meet each other on uh, digitally or on the internet. You need to find a solution if you have a conflict. On the internet uh, it's possible to remain anonymous and Conflicts can grow a lot without control because they polarize. If you work together like we do in the Cascantine on certain uh, physical resources, to manage resources together, to do agriculture together, to cook together, to repair things together, to make things, then you have to go through conflicts and you have to solve it because otherwise you have to stop. What I try to do on local level um, is really a solution. You need to change your lifestyle a little bit, but it is, it is possible to me. Although I earn less money, the qualities in life that I gain by integrating uh, on a local level uh, more activities of life uh, has brought me uh, a lot of good things. qualities of, of, of life, uh, which means uh, how to have good food together, how to party together, how to make music, how to discuss uh, life. Uh, if you're able to do that, yeah, that's, that's great. If you can enjoy life together, it's marvelous. And I think this is exactly uh, what we're trying to do, that we try to create and we enjoy what we create, the good parts of each culture together. We are proud of what we do and you are proud of, uh, uh, of what you do uh, for, for creating a good life. So we can exchange that. I came to Amsterdam about a year ago to fully live here. Got me interested for my actual studies again was like designing the broader sense of the world. Uh, influences the well-being of people. So how a well-designed space and a well-thought-through um, city can uh, make people's lives better, problems of housing itself, like 
and more people in the city of Amsterdam. There's so many people wanting to live here, not finding a place. What I saw in Berlin, and something that I still miss, that is not around enough in Amsterdam, I think, is uh, places that people just gather. Like, you maybe spend a few euros, but you just gather there. And not only in Amsterdam, but in a lot of cities, it is a problem that for you to have a comfortable life and to just, you know, go around and meet people and whatever, normal social things, you need to have, have a quite high amount of income already. I grew up uh, on an old farm. I think if you live in a city and you grow up in a city, you don't even see that. This connection between human and nature. So yeah, exactly. Really and the Cascantine is a place where they do that. You know, when you want to find out more about gardening, you can just walk in here and take a gardening class or even help with gardening. And I think that is super beautiful and it's such a good mission. I know literally I don't know any place in Amsterdam that functions like this. Literally, I, I don't know them. Amsterdam is uh, has always been a really cultural city, like a lot of different cultural cultures uh, combining here, lots of different people. Something that didn't happen is when you have this city where all these people live and all this capital lives, you know, you have expats with huge amounts of money, we of course need a place and of course they're important. Basically what I'm trying to say is you have all the different parts for all these different kinds of people. You can even kind of, you know, project characteristics on top of these people. Because you want to have a city that's mixed. Like you want to have people moving around your city, being mobile within your city. Especially with this new west. And of course New West is now developing really quickly, but I think it's fun that it just, you know, it's still for some people that have been living in the city center for long, it's like, oh yeah, this is a place where all the immigrants live. <laughs> like, what you know? There's so much awesome stuff there. Like, it's places like the school, places like some of the most the famous clubs. That's what I think is funny. And, and uh, well, funny. It's and it's also not specifically good because people um, divide also a city into different parts. I mean, so it makes people prejudiced against something that they don't know because they don't even go there anymore. So that's what I think is funny. People thinking in this really yeah, segregation.